What's up everybody, Greg here again, your virtual hackathon host. In this video, I'm going to go over setting up a custom domain in your ClickFunnels account. Now, this is a really important step because if you want to send emails, which if you're creating a sales funnel, you most likely do, you're going to need a SMTP integration. And in order to set up your SMTP integration, you're going to need a custom domain. Plus, it just looks way better on your actual funnels themselves to have your own branding, your own domain for all of your traffic that you're going to send to your funnel. So let's get right into it. There's three things you're going to need for this. Obviously, a ClickFunnels account, a Cloudflare account, and then the third one kind of depends on if you have purchased a domain through ClickFunnels already, or if you've purchased a domain outside of ClickFunnels. In my example, I'm going to use GoDaddy. This is where I purchased my custom domain that I'm going to use for this example. So first things first, inside of my ClickFunnels account, I'm going to hover over my little avatar and go to account settings. Then I'm going to go down on the left here to domains. Then I'm going to click on add domain. And on this screen, you'll get two options. You can purchase a domain through ClickFunnels itself. If you do it this way, um, it's a little bit easier. Um, I'll go through that with you in one second. And then if you already purchased your domain somewhere else, that's when you're going to have to get Cloudflare involved. So you would choose to use an existing domain. So I have an example here, gregorycf.com, which I purchased through ClickFunnels. This method is much easier. All I would do is go to three buttons, click on edit. And within here, I, if I ever wanted to edit anything with my custom domain, I can edit the DNS records right here under edit zone records. So you could do a lot of what I'm doing right now inside here if you ever wanted to add a subdomain, so say you wanted like specialoffer.yourdomain.com, you could set that up with a simple CNAME record right here. We won't go into too much detail in that regard right here, as I suspect most of you are probably going to have your domains outside of ClickFunnels. But if you are purchasing, purchasing it through ClickFunnels itself, you just uh, choose the option we looked at earlier, select the domain, and then the biggest part is just... Um, selecting your default page, which you would do right here. You pick the funnel and page that would show up whenever someone goes to that specific domain. We're going to be adding one. Oh, I just got some terms. Dudes are going through. So we're going to be adding one that was purchased outside of ClickFunnels. So I'm going to use an existing domain. We're going to leave this page here for now. And the next thing we're going to want to do is go into our domain registrar, wherever you've purchased your domain. My example, I'm using GoDaddy. I'm in the domain manager. But wherever you've purchased your domain, you should have the option to edit your DNS records and your name servers. So you just have to find that section. Usually it's within the settings of the domain itself. So for GoDaddy, it's just domain manager. DNS manage zones. So now that I'm here, we can see DNS records here and where they're pointed. Then we can see name servers down here. I'm going to refresh my page here because I actually just changed something on here and it's not letting me do it right now. So right here under name servers, we're going to click on change. And instead of default, we're going to choose custom. Ignore this part right here. So we are going to get these name servers from Cloudflare. So if you go to cloudflare.com, sign up for your account, you'll get to your dashboard like this. You won't have any uh, domains added here yet, but you're going to click on add a site, put in your domain. The domain I'm going to be using in this is, instance is crazyskate.com. Fun fact, this was the first uh, online business I ever started with my friends when I was in the seventh grade no longer exists. We only sold to our, uh, to our parents, but we had a lot of fun doing it. But I still own the domain. So we'll click on Add Site. Then we can just choose the free plan right here. That's all we need for this. Confirm plan. 
Here's going to ask us to add some DNS records. We're going to skip this for now, so just click on continue. Here is where we are going to get the name servers we want to add into our domain registrar. So I'm going to copy the first one. I just use control C, command C if you are on Mac. Go back to my GoDaddy page for the name servers, paste that in, control V. And then get name server number two, control C, and paste that in here. Once these are in here, I like to always check that there's no spaces at the beginning or the end of these records and click save. Well, once we do that, that's here inside of GoDaddy or your domain registrar, we go back to Cloudflare. Here we're going to click done because we've already changed the name server records. And this usually takes a little bit to verify um, that everything is set up and the two uh, systems are communicating with one, one another. So the next thing that we can do is click here on DNS records. While that's happening, we're going to edit these while that's sort of working in the background. When we click on DNS records, we're going to see three records here. Depending on where you've used your domain in the past, uh, you could see varying records here. One thing that's really important is if you're using this domain on another website, on another platform, and you want to keep that website functioning, Stop now, don't do this. All you need to do is add a subdomain or use a different domain. You can go to our help desk, just search subdomains and ClickFunnels. You can do a subdomain instead of the full domain being pointed at clickfunnels.com. Uh, so say if I didn't want Crazy Skate to point to a funnel, I had another website on another platform, I could do like specialoffer.crazyskate.com, point that to ClickFunnels and still keep my main website up. I don't want anyone to take down their main websites. <laughs> so basically right here at this point, I know I want my whole domain to be on ClickFunnels. I'm going to delete all these current records in here. And then I'm going to add two of my own records. So the first record, I click on add record, is going to be a CNAME record. And here I'm going to put my what's called the root of my domain. I can either put an at symbol or the root of your domain is just your domain.com or dot whatever you chose. So my root is crazyskate.com. My target is going to be target.clickfunnels.com. And then I'll leave this to auto. If I have a orange cloud here, I'm actually going to turn that gray by clicking on it. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to add one more CNAME record. This one is going to be www. So just like I was talking about sub subdomains before, www is also a subdomain of your root domain. This could be anything, but www is very popular. We want to make it so that anytime someone goes to www.crazyskate.com, they still end up at my funnel. So I'm going to point this at the root of my domain. So the target in this case is going to be crazyskate.com. And in this instance, I'm going to leave this orange cloud. So I'm just going to click Save. So this is all set. Now I can come back to the overview and click here on Recheck Now. So this looks like it's still verifying. So I'm going to let it keep doing its thing. And then there's one last thing we need to do in here, and that's set up a page rule. Oh, looks like mine's already here, but I'm going to delete it and redo it for you. So we go to page rules. We're going to click on create page rule. In here, I'm going to create a little uh, rule, <laughs> I guess you would call it. And I'm going to put my domain with www. So I'm going to put www.crazyskate.com. And then I'm going to put a forward slash and an asterisk. And I'll explain all this, at, all, all this at the end. It'll make sense. Then I'm going to click on add a setting. I'm going to go to forwarding URL. The status code is going to be 301 permanent redirect. And under the destination, it's really important you follow this format. It's going to be HTTPS colon slash slash your domain. So mine's crazyskate.com. This would be your domain forward slash dollar sign one. 
What this rule right here is going to do is anytime someone goes to www.yourdomain.com slash any domain, so say it's like your homepage, it says home right here. Anytime they do that, it's going to forward them to the non-www version with whatever corresponding uh, path they put up here. So if it was home, it would go to crazyskate.com without the subdomain www slash home. This ensures that whether they use www or not, they're always going to be sent to the same page. This is really important, so we can click on save and deploy. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just scroll back up to the top, go back to overview, and click on recheck now. Even just hit the refresh refresh button. There we go. Great news. Cloudflare is now protecting my site. So Cloudflare essentially adds extra security to your web pages, allows them to be secure so that you can then collect uh, credit card information and all that kind of fun stuff on your order forms. It's very useful and um, keeps everything legal for you. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back over to ClickFunnels where I left this page where I was adding my own domain. And here I'm going to erase www. We already have a forwarding rule that's going to take care of that. I'm going to put crazyskate.com and add my domain. Here this is basically just telling you to add that CNAME record that we already added inside of our DNS records inside of Cloudflare. So I've already done this step, I can click this button. Now it's saying, let's check that crazyskate.com is connected. I'll click check now. So it's not quite going through yet, so I can double check here, make sure I haven't made any mistakes. And if you look here, I actually did. I added an extra M on target.clickfunnels.com. I actually have an issue with my M button on my keyboard. It always doubles up. So all I have to do is that. Come back here, check again. If if you ever have this happen where it's not going through, usually just wait a bit. Oh, there it goes through. The other option is to just remove that domain and re-add it. It usually goes through right away, but here we go. So now it's asking us to select our default funnel that's associated with this domain. That's going to take the first page of that funnel and make it the page that we're taking to anytime we go to crazyskate.com. So for me, I have a million funnels in my testing account, but I'm going to go all the way down to this one, associate the funnel. And now if I went to that page, it would load right now, but we still want to add uh, SSL at the click funnels level. So we're going to click the three dots here, click on edit for the new domain. It says SSL here. I'm going to click expand, add SSL. with this little message that says it can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. What I always like to do is just hit this check now button right away and I'll tell you about it. Congratulations, mine went through right away. Should, probably because I've already had this domain integrated before. It's already there. The new domain that actually might take 10 to 15 minutes. So now my domain is here and I have the green lockbox. So that should be all set. Next thing I can do is go to that funnel that I associated it with. So I selected this funnel. You can pick any page to start this out with. You can always go back and change that default page. Whichever funnel you set it to, you'll see it in the preview, preview URLs here. You also want to go into the settings of that funnel and make sure that is set under domains. If it's not, select it, scroll down to the bottom, save and update. So now that this is done, We'll open a incognito browser. This ensures that there's no cached information affecting what I'm trying to view. I'm going to go to crazyskate.com. And yay, it loaded up my page. And then I'm going to do one more incognito browser. I'm going to try www.crazyskate.com. You see that forward it. No more www, just crazyskate.com and I have the same page. So there you have it. That's everything you need to uh, integrate your first custom domain. And if you follow those steps, it should work perfectly for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. You can do that by clicking the speech bubble in the bottom right-hand corner 
of your ClickFunnels account, or you can send an email to support at clickfunnels.com.